Today I'm gonna to share with you three amazing and very impactful, super easy ways to treat your eczema topically at home. This particular protocol is one that I have created for my patients and I'm sharing it with you today. Thanks for checking out my channel. My name is Dr. Melissa Gallagher. I'm a naturopathic physician and I provide natural focused healing solutions for a lot of my patients. And eczema is a really common problematic skin inflammation that plagues individuals from infants all the way to individuals in their 80s and 90s. And I'm gonna share with you topical ways to treat this using items that you probably already have at home. And even if you don't, they're super low cost, easy on your budget and highly impactful. I'm gonna offer this protocol in a step-by-step, -step. it's a freebie download for you. So make sure you check on the description box below if you feel like you don't wanna take notes. Step number one is super simple, grab apple cider vinegar. I recommend organic and you wanna make sure it has what we call the mother, that is the magical potency of apple cider vinegar. You also wanna grab a cotton ball or cotton swab. These I also recommend organic because there are chemicals that can be caustic to inflamed, irritated skin like eczema. In this step, what you're going to do is you're going to have topical applications of a gently diluted apple cider vinegar both in the morning and in the evening. Now, if you are a severe case, you can do this multiple times throughout the day, but after a shower, before bedtime, this is super easy to do. I mix up in this silicone bowl and these are easy to grab online. I'll include some links for all of these items if you wanna check those out. I mix it up, I add a little water, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then you dip your cotton swab and you apply this solution. It's a little bit of a diluted apple cider vinegar on the location that is inflamed. Now, if you have inflammation around the face, you might wanna dilute it a little bit more, but generally a half and half dilution works really well. Now I'm gonna share with you the reasons why apple cider vinegar topically is highly beneficial. A lot of eczematic skin has a high acidic pH. And actually, despite what a lot of people think, apple cider vinegar, this will balance your pH of your skin. This is one of the fastest and most impactful ways to resolve the irritation, the inflammation, as well as deal with some of the flakiness and just the crustiness that often accompanies eczema. So step number two, as soon as the apple cider vinegar water dilution solution dries, then you deploy this step. You'll wanna grab castor oil, and I have this for a multitude of purposes. If you're curious about using castor oil packing, Watch that video for more details about how to detox your body. But topically with eczematic skin, castor oil, this particular bean and the properties of castor oil are amazing for eradicating inflammation. And most importantly, it will motivate your lymphatic system, helping turn over the cells of the skin. Now, most of the time my patients will use castor oil generally in the evening, but if you are a severe case or you really wanna nip this in the butt, you can use this in the morning and the evening. By the way, castor oil will stain clothing. So you wanna make sure you take a little bit, just a little bit. So the application, you'll use a Q-tip, both parts of the Q-tip, and then apply topically to the areas that are problematic. You can apply on the face as well. I'm gonna share with you my third tip, which is an additional layer that you can apply on top of the castor oil. And you can also do this separately. And it is using the magic of calendula cream. This is a homeopathic, cream that is derived from marigold. Calendula is the end all be all of healing creams for inflammation, redness, irritation of the skin. This is great for sunburns, it's great for burns maybe when you're cooking, and it's amazing for eczematic skin. So the application is super simple. You dispense a little bit of cream and then apply topically over the areas where you've applied the castor oil. Calendula is impactful for skin that is red, that is swollen, that is inflamed, and really crusty skin highly benefits. So my three-step combination of diluted apple cider vinegar applied topically, then using castor oil, apply, applying it topically, just a little bit goes a long way. Once that is soaked in, then you can apply the calendula cream and boom, 
I promise you try these steps, you're going to notice a significant difference. Now I do want to let you know that this three-step process treats it topically. When you deal with eczema, we are dealing with deeper related inflammatory conditions, particularly inflammation of the digestive process. So my question of the day is how many of you deal with eczema? How severe is it? And have you ever tried this combination? Now as a naturopathic physician, one of the things that I am constantly addressing with my eczematic patients is the deeper internal related inflammation that is registering and presenting as skin irritations and inflammation, i.e. eczema. So it is really critical that you not just only deal with the topical, which this three-step process will really help that, but you need to go deeper. So even if you get resolution, depending on the state and severity of your eczema, you still need to address the deeper causes of inflammation, which if you're interested in that video, that'll be part two of this eczema healing series. So make sure if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notified when any new video content comes out, which this year I'm producing videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And I hope you'll join our natural health resources community here. And I can't wait to hear all of your healing stories. Have a great day.